So in this video, I'm going to show you all some tips and tricks that can help you maybe open up some maps in Unreal Engine 5. Ever since I've been uploading the Matrix demo videos, I've been reading y'all's comments, and some of y'all are really struggling with getting that open. So I'm hoping for y'all beginners out there, this video will help you out. Now, the first method that I'm going to show you is actually going to require you to update your registry settings in your Windows device. So please do back up your Windows. Uh, if you're not familiar with registry edit, just be very careful. So to go to registry edit, all you have to do is type regedit here and then press yes. So where you want to go to is computer, local machine, system, current control set, control, graphics drivers. And you basically just go down this hierarchy right here and it's going to bring you to this folder. Now what you're looking for if you don't have it already are the TDR DDI delay and a TDR delay. But if you don't have these here, all you have to do is right click new and then DWORD 32 bit and just name it whatever. And then since I already have it here, I'm going to double click this to edit. I'm going to switch this to decimal and I will change this to 60 and I will press OK. And again, for the TDR delay, I'll double click it decimal and I'll change this to 60. All right. And let me go ahead and delete this. And after that's done, go ahead and close this, restart your computer, and hopefully that will give your computer time to recover or to resolve before it just gives you the blue screen of death. Now, obviously, Unreal Engine 5, I think, is still pretty hardware heavy, believe it or not, even though Lumen is a uh, software base. I would say at least a 1080 Ti in the 10 series, a 2070 in the 2 series, and then obviously a 3060 and up should be good to go. Now, the second method I'm going to show you is something that helped me out tremendously when I first started learning Unreal Engine last year, and that is actually changing your reflection resolution. And to do that, if you have a project open, go ahead and right click a folder and click on show in Explorer. And we're going to go to the root of this folder now. So I'll click this right here and then go to config and I'm going to make this bigger. Let's go to config right here and then you're going to the default engine. Now, whenever you're editing this notepad after you're saving it, go ahead and close Unreal Engine and we'll open it back up. Additionally, this default engine changes for every single project that you have. Sometimes this notepad could be really long, sometimes it could be really short as well. The thing that we're looking for here is the reflection capture resolution. If you're opening up a really big map that has ray tracing on, Go ahead and check right here because I can guarantee you it's probably set to something ridiculously high like 2048 or something like that. Even this project that I just got from the marketplace for free in April is set to 1024. For small maps like this here, it should be okay. But if you're trying to open really, really big maps and you have the, your reflection capture resolution is set at 1024, you're probably going to have an issue opening that map. So before you open the map, go ahead and check on this and go ahead and start with 128, 256, 512, uh, 1024, or 2048, depending on your hardware. Once you're done with that, go ahead and save it and then exit out and then open your project back up. So the next thing I'm going to show you is actually somebody asked in uh, one of my videos as far as where can I change the engine scalability setting because sometimes you don't see it right here. Now, if you don't like the UI of the Unreal Engine 5, you can default to the UE4 by just going to Window, Load Layout, and you can go to the UE4 Classic Layout. But if that scalability is not right here, if you go to the right side, there is a cogwheel named Settings, click on that, go to Engine Scalability, and now you can change the scalability settings here. Again, depending on your hardware, you're just going to have to play around and depending on your scene on what setting you're going to be able to choose here. Just keep in mind, some settings in Real Engine 5 does not work in the low, medium uh, options. As far as I know, Lumen only works with high, epic, and cinematic. So if something is not working like Lumen and you're like, why is it not working? Check your engine scalability settings because most likely you're probably in the medium or low quality. Now, the next tip that I'm going to give you is that if you do have a really low hardware, go ahead and work in unlit mode as you see right here. To change this, you just go right here from lit to unlit and this gives you a lot of FPS. Whenever I'm recording motion data or facial motion capture, I always set this to unlit because it gives me a lot more FPS. So if I switch the FPS right here, you're going to see that I'm going like 120 forever. It's pretty awesome. It's a lot of FPS. Additionally, another thing that can help you in this UI is downloading DLSS. As of right now, 12 April, it is not out for the official release of UE5, but I am going to be making a video whenever that comes out. 
And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to change your control panel to actually use your full graphics card's power. To do that, if you have an NVIDIA card, you just have to go to the NVIDIA setting, right click, and then click on control panel. If you're a gamer, you're probably familiar with this setting here. Now, unfortunately, you will have to change this every time you update your drivers. So if you go to manage 3D settings right here, and scroll down, you're gonna see this thing that says power management mode. Now, I usually set this to maximum performance whenever I'm gaming and when I'm in Unreal Engine 5 or NVIDIA Omniverse, because A, when I'm gaming, this gives me, I think, 20 frames per second because it is using majority and maximum of my GPU. Now, at the same token, you're probably gonna be using your GPU a lot more and a lot harder with this setting turned on to maximum performance. So just do keep that in mind. Well, folks, that is all I have for y'all today. I really hope I helped y'all out and y'all learned something new today. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know like always, and I'll catch y'all later.